In the last video of Python playlist, we went through the concepts of NumPy library in Python. Now what we would do today is we would try to solve some problem statements using NumPy library. Because what I always recommend is like after you learn something, try to apply it on the problem statements because that would prepare you well for interviews as well as for your real world industry experience. So let's get started with some problems in NumPy. Subscribe to our channel for more content related to Python, data science, machine learning and AI. So our first question is, create NumPy array with 50 random numbers in the range of 10 to 100 generated using random number generator and print sum of all the numbers in NumPy array. So first of all, let's import NumPy because we would need it in this NumPy assignment and we want to generate random numbers. So for that, we would use random module from NumPy, from NumPy import random. Let's run this. Now we want to create array with 50 random numbers. So let's do this. Data is equal to random. In random, there is a rand int function which you can use for generating random integer numbers. So in the range of 10 to 100 and how many numbers we want to create? 50. So size is equal to 50. And print data print data dot sum because we want to get addition of all the numbers now let's run this code so this has created array of 50 random numbers and if we use some function from numpy we would be able to get addition of all the numbers so the sum that we are getting is 2669 of these 50 numbers Okay, so we have successfully solved the first question. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is create 3x3 three three matrix using NumPy array and write a Python code to print some of all diagonal elements. And there are a couple of other questions in this as well. So we will go step by step. First of all, let's create a 3x3 three three matrix using NumPy array. So data np.array. And in that we want to create a matrix. So let's create list of lists. So three by three. So one, two, three. So we want three rows and three columns. So basically we want to pass three lists to it. Every list in this would become a row. So four, five, six, comma, maybe say eight, nine, ten. You can give any numbers here. And let's run this. And let's print data so you can see we have created a 3x3 three three matrix you can also check the shape of matrix using shape parameter so data dot shape would give you shape of that matrix and the next question is write a python code to print sum of all diagonal elements so you can get sum of all diagonal elements using trace function in numpy so data dot trace and let's run this it is giving us 16. Now, which are the diagonal elements in this matrix? 1, 5, and 10. So 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 plus 10 is 16. So that's what we are getting here. The next sub question is transpose this matrix and calculate sum of all elements in first row. Okay, so let's create a transpose matrix. Data t is equal to data dot transpose. And maybe let's print it. So now every row is converted to the column. So here one, two, three was first row. It is now the first column in the transpose matrix. So we are able to transpose the matrix that we had. And the next sub question is calculate sum of all elements in first row. So always remember in NumPy, the indexing starts with zero. So we can access first row by giving index zero and sum. So we want to get sum of all elements in first row. So that is one plus four, five, five plus eight, 13. So we are getting it over here. The last one is convert the transpose matrix into one dimensional array. So this is a three by three matrix. So if you check its shape, data underscore t dot shape 
it's a 3 by 3 matrix and we want to convert it to one dimensional array so in numpy we can do that using flatten function so data underscore t dot flatten and if you run this you would see that 3 by 3 matrix is now converted to one dimensional array using a flatten function so we have completed the second question as well let's move on to the last question So the last question is create 2 by 3 matrix using numpy array and then the next step is create another 3 by 3 matrix using numpy array so 2 by 3 and then 3 by 2 so let's create those matrices data underscore 1 is equal to maybe we can take a reference from here just for faster typing okay so we wanted two rows and three columns so let's delete the last row So two by three matrix is created, two rows and three columns, and the next one is we want to create three by two matrix. So it should has it should have three rows and two columns. So basically. We want just two columns. So let's do this. And third row, maybe nine comma ten. Okay. And let's create it in another variable, data underscore two. And let's print this. So now we have another matrix which has three rows, one, two, three, and two columns. So we have created second matrix as well. Now what's the next question? Calculate sum of all elements based on matrix created by multiplying above two matrices. Okay, so we have to create a new matrix by multiplying these two matrices, and for that new matrix, we want to add all the elements in that matrix. So first of all, let's create a new matrix which is a dot product of these two. So let's say new is equal to np dot. So we can use a dot function in numpy, and let's pass our two matrices to it. Data underscore one. Data underscore two, and let's print new. So this is the matrix now we have created by multiplying the two matrices. So when we multiply the matrices, the new matrix which is created always has dimension which is equal to rows of first matrix into columns of second matrix. So it would be two rows into two columns. So two by two matrix is created. By multiplying the two matrices, and we want to get sum of all elements in this matrix. So what we can do is new dot sum, and let's run this. So it is adding up all the elements in this new matrix which is created, and the value that we are getting is two forty nine. So this is how we have successfully solved third question as well. I hope you are clear now with the NumPy library and how you can use it to solve some questions in Python. Now go ahead and try to solve more questions using NumPy library because that's the only way in which you are going to gain some confidence. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Keep learning Python and keep coding in Python. I would see you in the next one. Bye bye.